It's three in the morning here at the Green River Lakes Trailhead in Wyoming, where I will be attempting to climb Gannett Peak for the second time. Uh, I was here just a week ago with Matt on a failed attempt to climb Gannett. On that attempt, we went up Taurus Creek and got turned around by time and just, we weren't prepared to do that much boulder hopping. Now I'm with Chase and Aaron, so I swapped out my friend uh, for two friends. And we're gonna go up Wells Creek this time. And I've got Chase and Aaron, both great strong runners, but Chase especially, because he can actually climb. We're going to be running today with ropes and some climbing gear in an attempt to do Wells Creek. And there's a 100 foot section that requires that climbing gear. And we're hoping that we can get past it and summit Gannett today. But today we'll be running on the Green Lakes River Trail for 10 miles then breaking off and heading north across the river and up Wells Creek, hopefully to the summit of Gannett Peak. And then returning the same way. Should be about 20 miles of boulder hopping and scrambling and 20 miles of smooth flat trail. It's cold. And I'm really hoping that it warms up to like 80 degrees by the time I have to cross that river. We're at the bottom of Wells Creek, and the whole river crossing was much ado about nothing. But I think that what's gonna happen here is that I, I've fallen for the grass is always greener type of a thing, and that Taurus Creek and Wells Creek probably have the same amount of boulder hopping, because we're already encountering boulders. And so now, now we have boulder hopping plus some climbing. It'll be interesting to compare the two. Well, we're gonna start our way up the mountain and it's uh, been slow going with these heavy bags. We're making pretty good progress. The mosquitoes are out though and that can make the day a very itchy one. This is the whole reason we hauled two small ropes and a bunch of climbing gear up this tiny little section. There's some old fixed ropes in place that I guess if you had to, you might be willing to trust with your life. But we're gonna throw in our harnesses and Chase is gonna lead this and hopefully do it safely and we'll all get out quickly and without any surprises. finished with that 100 foot crux move. Well, let me just say this, I'm glad we brought a rope. I'm glad we uh, brought some protection. I wish we had helmets. I know some of you are gonna comment on that. Don't worry, we felt their absence. But I'm also glad that Chase came because he led that whole thing. And to me, it did not feel like a 5.6. It felt like a uh, 
much more difficult climb. Pretty sure that I got invited on this because I have a climbing background, but consistent with the channel, I'm a mediocre amateur climber. <laughs> so we're debating whether or not to bring ropes or to free solo or to bring, you know, uh, something in between. And uh, we're glad we brought ropes, some camps, some nuts. Uh, it was a lot spicier than I thought. I think we would, would have been turned around if we would have just stuck with the free solo plan. So bringing the ropes paid off, but it was a blast. It makes it so much more fun actually doing some technical stuff on these long runs. But now we're headed up the last bit of um, Wells Creek. We're almost to Mini Bug Lake, which sounds ridiculous saying that name of that lake, but that's the name of the lake. just past the place where Matt and I turned around. And while I don't feel physically any better than I did with Matt, I definitely feel mentally better. Matt and I got too late of a start in the day. Our times actually coming up wells versus coming up tourist, the difference is only 30 to 45 minutes. So that climbing really slowed us down. If you didn't have to do that climb, you could fly up to Gannett. But We've just passed Scott's Lake, or we're about to pass it. And from here on, we got the glacier, and then we'll head up Looker's Left, and then do the ridge walk. It feels so good to be here this time during the day. Turning around last time was a bitter pill to swallow, but I felt like it was a necessary one. I think Matt and I were prepared for the day we had. Throwing on our crampons, we're gonna walk up this snow, which looks like it's 40 or plus degrees here up higher, and then pop onto some loose rock and then the ridge. And hopefully we'll have enough strength to get back because once we get to the summit, that's only halfway. And sometimes downhill could be so much worse. We are at the Minor Glacier and we kind of covered a lot of it, which is behind me. It's just an amazing place, ice covered lake below. And uh, now we are at the point where we are throwing on our crampons. We, could, we, we carried them this whole way. So I'll be damned if I don't put them on. <laughs> we will cramp on. Yeah, and so we're probably, what, 2,000 feet from the summit? Yeah. Not done yet, but we're getting close. Top of Gannett Peak, 13,800, and depending on who you ask, 4, 10, or 18 feet. This is, this is one of the best state high points I've been on. And I don't know if it has to do anything with the fact that it's also one of the hardest I've had to fight for, but it was worth coming back for a week later. We're all excited, 
But uh, when you stop and think about the fact that we ha now have to retrace our steps all the way back through all of that, that can seem daunting. But for now, let's just enjoy the moment. That's what we're trying to do. Just enjoy this moment. And it's an awesome moment. I, I don't recall ever being on a summit and feeling this remote at the same time. My guess is we're probably at close to 20 miles total with about 7,500 feet of climbing. We're actually doing pretty good. We're 10 hours in to our day. So we summited in about 10 hours and 20 minutes. Amazing journey to go up here. Went through flat trail, a bunch of talus, to some technical climbing, past lakes, through meadows, and everything in between. So I'm super stoked to be here. The whole day was amazing. The climb, the trail, everything was awesome. I guess there was a few long, steep, rock fields I could have done without if I was really going to try to be picky <laughs> here. I'm not entirely sure what the main route is, but if you look behind me, you can see some Bergstrunds and stuff, which might be the infamous Bergstrand that, that you would have to cross as you, uh, if you were to come up through, from Titcombe Basin. Anyway, now we're going to head down and it's going to be just as dangerous, <laughs> probably for the next couple hours until we get back on the trail. We're up here at the top of the climb, trying to ring up a safe system so we can repel off of it. I don't know how that's working out, that's Jason's job. So we got this repel and then a hop, a skip, and a jump to the river, across the river, run the trail. Zingers in the mouth, Mountain Dew in the gut. Happy days of turn. probably concludes our route finding and bushwhacking for the day. Now we just got a 12 mile gentle s stroll to the trailhead parking lot. Trailhead, we're done. I feel super worked, but less work than I thought I'd feel. So makes me feel good. Then it was like, we're gonna be swimming rivers and it's gonna be the worst bushwhack ever. Crazy boulder hopping. There's a lot of that, but what a day. Oh, I haven't had sensations like that in my legs in a long time. That was a bruiser of a day, for sure. My Strava showed 49 miles, and it took about 19 hours. But we did it, we summited Gannett Peak. What's funny is when I was here last week, I was so disappointed, but I don't think mentally I was prepared to climb it. The minute I got home last week, I texted Aaron and Chase, and I said, hey, let's go climb Gannett. <laughs> sure enough, about seven days later, we got here and we, Climbed it, 
and it was as awesome as I had imagined. So now I've done Torres Creek and Wells Creek. And man, they're both tough. Although we had a little bit of everything today. We had boulder hopping, river crossing, trad climbing, a little bit of time in snow, some swimming, running. It was just a whole lot of something.